Well, in a season full of superlatives, a couple of stats that stick out as cold water plays in their seventh straight state title football game. The Cavs have never trailed at any point in any game this season. The defense yet to allow a first quarter point, and the three time defending champs have had a running clock in 17 of 28 second half quarters. Santa and his brother Santa were there rooting on the Cavs. First offensive possession, Coldwater moving the ball. Jack Hemmelgarn hits Aaron Harlemer, 38 yards to the 10. Couple plays later, handoff to Craig Shane Hare from two yards out. He dashes in, 7 0 Cavs just over five minutes into the game. Second quarter, Coldwater up 7 to 3, so they did allow a field goal. Hemmelgarn, the out to Harlemer, hook and ladder, and Shane Hare doing some work. Watch him work back across the field, almost tackled a number of times, puts his head down. 60 yards before they finally tackle him at the 13. Couple plays later, it is third and 13. Hemmelgarn connects with Harlemer. They call it a touchdown, 16 yard strike. Cavs lead 13 to three. Final seconds of the half. Canton looking for a Rodgers to Rodgers miracle like the Packers saw, and it's not gonna happen. Kyle McKibben, his second interception of the half, Brings the half to a close. Coldwater up 10 at the break. Third quarter, Cavs get it first. It's fourth and 10 from Canton's 35. Emelgarn calm and composed. Connects with McKibben to the two. 33 yard hookup. Then it's Petey Post. Injured the last several weeks. Gets in and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. 20 to three, orange and black. That Cavalier defense dominating like always. Here comes Mitch Clooney. Tackling him by the ankles. Cavs get it back and they go to work again. Hemelgarn over the middle to Harlemert, and the foot race is on. Number one will get to the pylon. 33 yard strike, 27 to three Coldwater. Jack goes 18 to 27, 287 yards for the air, two touchdowns. Fourth quarter, Cavs up 16, and Shane Hare plows in from four yards out. He has 73 yards rushing, 80 receiving. Coldwater wins its fourth straight championship, 35-18. The Chip Otten gets the water bath, and then they hoist the trophy. A very emotional end to an amazing run by the Cavalier seniors. You know, just amazing. Most people don't really get to win their last game in a season, and we've done that four times. And I'm really proud of all these seniors and, and what we've accomplished in the, in the four years that we've been here. So I love them all. It's an amazing feeling for the seniors, our community. Uh, it's, it's a dream come true to me, and I think everybody. Coaches deserve a lot of credit. Six straight times Coach Otten has been here as a head coach, and he, he's worked very hard. And, I don't know how he hasn't been coach of the year yet, being here six times in a row, but he's just going to keep doing what he's doing, and he's he's teached us more than just football, you know, how to be a young man. The last time we ran that play was with Keith Wenning back in, I don't know, when I was a manager, and yeah, Coach On said all the trick plays are in full go this today, and he said he wanted to go for two, and that was the one. We practiced it, so it was awesome. 20, 20 uh, three of the 24s went from first grade all the way through together. We had one, one young man move in from Georgia. Hey! Uh, a couple years ago, but uh, really, really tight, tight group of tight group of guys that uh, you know. Those are our guys. How many people can say they scored a touchdown where uh, where Zeke scored? You know, it's cool. Feels amazing, you know, having my family and stuff here support me. I uh, I just can't believe it's over, but I love all my coaches and they've supported me through everything I've done, and I love them all.